Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 22 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play, uh, where today it's raining. Uh, it's very unfortunate that it's raining because I would normally just go home and go to sleep. Uh, oh, wait. I forgot. I have a sleeping bag. Let's do that because this is very loud, very annoying. Uh, anyway, so normally I was going to say I'd go home and sleep, but I'm very far away from home. And coming back up here is a pain. And I wanted to show you guys that I fixed our wind gen and I figured a couple things out. So first things first. Um, make sure we don't get shot by that skeleton. That's what's first. Okay, so I upgraded our cables here to the advanced universal cable advanced universal cables. Wasn't a hundred percent necessary, but I had the infused alloys, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's do it. Uh, and that way they can just transfer at max capacity. I also set our ender cell to everything is receive only. If you remember, I had it set to receive and extract. Even though these don't extract power, it was like, I think the pipes were filling up and extracting power from this and it was not working. And that's why we were not seeing any of this power coming into our base because, well, this was pulling all the power uh, out of the cube, which was pulling it out of our uh, energy cube at, back at home. So yeah, we got that working. Also, I figured out what my issue is here with this, uh, you know, like it's outputting right now, uh, max output's 240, it's able to output 120. Uh, I was clicking on this and I did not realize I clicked, which is why now it says 60 EU a tick. That's a different power gen, uh, a power unit. So that is why it looks different. And then when I saw this one, I'm like, oh, three, 600 joules a tick. I was like, man, that is producing a lot. No, it is not actually. FE, that's what we want. That's equivalent to RF, one-to-one. -one. Uh, so yeah, we are pr producing 120 RF a tick with each one of these bad boys, um, which is fantastic. Um, also, I collected the quest up here for the, uh, where's power? Uh, the ender cell, which gave me, um, or was it the ender cell or the ender gate? I can't remember which one it was. Oh, uh, it was the Ender Gate, and it gave me some more of those cores, four more cores, so we have that going for us. And this Ender Gate, I am learning, is basically a, um, it's like a flux point. It's like a, one of these cells, but it just sits on a pipe, just like that, and you don't have to worry about it, but the, you can't adjust your channels with it. You can set it to a channel, and it'll extract, or it'll input, but you can't, like, like this, I added the Ender Cell in order to get this to 4 million RF a tick, you can't do that with these. So you still need an ender cell somewhere to manage your channels, but this will allow me to kind of take the place of flux points. Major difference between these and flux points is flux points don't have a limit. You can see this has a max IO of 18,000 RF a tick. Flux points or flux plugs, whichever one it is, I always mix the two up, don't. There's no limit. You can They can pull out 15 million RF a tick if they really needed to. Uh, which can happen when you're doing stuff like uh, mechanisms antimatter. So uh, major difference between the two there is that. But to be honest, this power wireless transfer is not 100% horrible. It's not bad at all. It's not horrible at all. There is something down here. Some. Oh, that's a wandering trader. <laughs> I was sitting up here AFKing for a while because I wanted to make sure everything was working. And yeah, I guess he spawned in there because I was sitting here. Uh... Anyway, let's go back to our base. I just wanted to show you guys this because it takes forever for us to get back here, even with our mechanism jetpack. Uh, so I wanted to make sure y'all saw this first before we did anything else. But today, we're going to continue on the trend of power generation. I want to check out these uh, these power cell or these solar power solar panels from power and we're probably just going to pop them up on our roof here hook them up to some cables and throw you know if we have enough of those power cores we can throw an ender cell right here in the middle all of them can be hooked up and i mean we have the room to make quite a bit granted they only work during the day but i mean we generally sleep through most nights anyway unless we're doing stuff like astral sorcery so i mean night's not too big of a deal so we can sleep through it but i mean if we factor each one of these, if we put them, you know, here, that's one, two, three, four, five. So this is a five by five. So we can have five, 10, 15, 20. I'd say 20 solar panels. So let's see what we need to do to get that going. So let's pop over to here and let's see. So solar panels are gonna take 
photoelectric panes, uh, basic capacitors, dielectric casings, and iron ingots. All stuff that we can make except for the photoelectric panes. Um, which, if I was looking at my recipes earlier correctly, they're not that hard. It's really not that hard to make. Um, so we just need to auto craft that and we need to figure out how to make some glass panes, but that's pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. <laughs> the name of this mod is pain in the glass. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, what I want to do though is let's see, do I have glass panes? Can I make some real quick? Uh, it should, um, for a dictionary properly, but it's just, I like to make sure that it's gonna, so I guess we have no glass. Hook me up some glass real quick and give me some panes. Okay, so then we'll come back here and we will search for our glass panes. We will add those there, ma'am. And we're actually gonna get the recipe for these and do that. And let's put these, we are running out of room in our crafter. We're gonna have to make another one. And now we should be able to get solar panels. Uh, if I would add solar panels to the auto crafting as well. Yeah, I added the electric photoelectric panes, but not the solar panels themselves. So we can do that. We can do that. And we should be able to get some solar panels now. So Pi said I wanted 20 of these. Missing 192 iron, lapis. Okay, so 20, a little bit out of the question. Let's say, can we start with five? No. Can we start with three? No. My goodness, these are expensive. Let's just do one. I can't even do one, wow. Missing iron, lapis, and clay? Oh my, we have no iron. Well, that's a thing. Lap we have no lapis? That can't be, what did we use it all on? All right, well, um, I guess it's time to go do a little bit of mining. Was not prepared for this. It's kind of hard to remember what I do in between episodes. Uh, well, not, not in between episodes, but like little secret here, but I generally record about a week's worth of episodes at a time, uh, mainly because I have 10 megabit per second upload speed. And so it takes a while. So I need to have a nice backlog of videos ready to go so that I can, uh, you know, upload them because it's going to take forever to upload. Um, that being said, I generally will record seven episodes at a time for the week so that I can edit them. Uh, because if you haven't noticed, I upload these in 4K, so I upscale into 4K. That way I get YouTube's um, better quality processor so that the videos look better for y'all. Uh, but with all that being said, it takes a day to render everything and then a day to upload everything. So I record seven at a time and then the rest of the time is basically uploading, editing, all that good stuff, rendering. Um, so I kind of forget what I do a week ago. Oh, and I ran out of power. Are you serious? I didn't have my thing charged. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I forget. Uh, so we need to get this guy charged. Now, deviate just a little bit. I know how I had the player thingy mabami. This thing, player transmitter, right? Which requires this, use an aerial pearl on zombie or husk. How does that work? I remember our quest book mentioned something. I probably have a lot of items on you that are recharged with power. Isn't it super tedious to remember to always keep them charged though? Don't you wish there was something that could tap in your energy supply and wirelessly charge anything in your inventory? We're in luck. Make a binding card and right click it to bind yourself. Then craft a player transmitter and then put the card in it. As long as the transmitter receives power, it will keep all of your items charged. Okay, I like that. That way I don't have to worry about keep plopping that thing in there. So let's add that to our to-do list. So we can do all of this stuff except for a aerial player aerial pearl. But we have to see you use an aerial pearl on a zombie or husk, and we will get this. So let's add that to do list to the to-do list. Tell me I have an ender pearl. I do. Let's do this. I'm missing clay. I kind of can't do anything without having this guy ready because that's dead. 
All right, uh, we're gonna do a quick cut here. I'm gonna go mining for some iron because I didn't get any at all during that whole, oh, I got two chunks. Lots of coal, no iron. So we're gonna go and get some iron, get some clay, and we will be right back. Okay, so uh, did a little mining. We got our nice uh, processor here going. That's tripling all our ores and everything. So we got our iron running now. Uh, we got quite a bit of iron. I realized what the problem was though, because I was thinking, I'm like, there is no way. I remember we had like a thousand lapis or something like that. There is no way I burnt through all of that. On top of that, I wasn't seeing any of the clay. And I remember I destroyed an entire lake of clay. Like, yeah, we should have a ton of clay. So I came down here and I looked, everything was fine. But I went into here and I looked at our, uh, I just looked for anything. Look, it's doing it again, actually. If I search for lapis, look, it's not working. There is nothing here. For some reason, this external storage, I have to break and replace, and now everything shows back up. Which means that some of that iron was going into our system, which is fantastic, and the clay, lovely. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with that. All, everything that was processing here, essentially, was going into this. I don't know why. I don't know why that was doing it again, because nothing changed. But yeah. External storage was having issues. Look, now we have a thousand iron and lapis and everything, so we should definitely have enough to get what we need. However, what we need to do real quick, since it is nighttime, let's get this aerial pearl thing. And it says to use it on a zombie or a husk. So let's go find us a zombie. That's a zombie brute, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want him. because I don't know if it's gonna work on him. Just give me a bog standard zombie here real quick and boop got him i guess that picks up the zombie good to know um but anyway okay so we got this thing let's go inside let's sleep through this night so that we get rid of all the other guys that i just uh angered a little bit you know and see what we can do okay so digressing this player transmitter let's go ahead and make this thing real quick and then we need to make a what was the other thing? It was a do, 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 a binding card. Let's make a binding card. Dimensional. Oh, so there's one that works cross dimension. Use a binding card on an Enderman or Endermite. Okay, so we'll end up probably doing that. Let's craft that and then craft that. I don't see us needing more of these, but hey, look, we got this done. So let's just take this and it says it can go anywhere. We'll just put it up top here and we will set the top of this to extract. All of our power is draining into our system down here. Uh, I have to right click this. Yes, activate it, put that in there. And look, we're transmitting power, nice. All of our power is going down here to process all this stuff. And it's not even there that it's going. Switch that back to single block. It's here. This thing, oh, isn't even running, so I lied. Where is all the power going again? I don't know why I'm having so much issue with power gen. Look, this is empty. And this is empty. And this is draining. What is draining all my power? Oh, this thing's filling back up. Ah, because I did go mining. All right. Good to know. That uses a lot of power. Okay. Back to where we were. Let's get back to the tasks at hand. First off, let's see what quests we got. Power loot box. Nice. This is a dimensional binding card. Right click on an Enderman and upgrade it. We will do that next time it's night and I see an Enderman. We'll go out there, do that, and then we will slay the Enderman and gain his loots. But we did that. So let's get uh, a solar panel. So now we should be able to craft. I don't want to know if I wanted to craft all of those that I said initially. Let's just do five to start with. Um, I mean, it only needs 31 iron and stuff like that, but we're not like super flush with all of our resources. I mean, we have a decent amount, but let's not go crazy with it. And while that's also cooking, let's look at getting a crafter. And we're gonna look at upgrading to gold crafters. So let's teach the system how to make gold crafters. 
our base crafters down there that we have for like all of our standard recipes. I want to go ahead and upgrade to these gold crafters because of this five times faster speed. They make your items, they do the crafting process five times faster than um, your standard iron crafters. So what we're going to do is make two gold crafters because they hold more storage space too. Yeah, it's 45. And I think the irons are... 27 so it's double the amount of storage so we'll make two of those gold ones real quick and then swap out what we have down there and that should actually let's do three i should have enough resources for that yes it's going to take quite a bit of diamonds though but i have i don't have a lot but i say i have enough for now okay so we got our solar panels and they are not uh stackable let's try and clean up our inventory here a little bit uh we can put those away and those away Dank can stay. Let's put this in here. Keep this ender gate on us. I mean, we'll most likely be making more, but for now, it's uh, kind of handy. We actually could use this up up top with the uh, solar panels because a basic ender gate can do 1,000 R tick. And what do those cost to make? They just cost one of those ender cores, which is, for us right now, kind of expensive, um, mainly because we don't have the... Um, Ender pearls. Nope, give me that. And then where were we at on those crafters? Good, they're done. We'll work on that in a minute. Okay, so what we are going to need is um, cables. And let's go ahead and clear this. I don't know why this does this. Let's upgrade these cables. So advanced universal cables. We'll go ahead and upgrade all of them that we have by taking them out. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, I only have five, nice. Well, we need to make more. So let's actually teach the system how to make the advanced. Let's just go straight to advanced. Since we're gonna have to craft some, let's learn how to craft them in the first place. Did I teach it how to make the basics? Yes, okay, so it knows how to make those. So let's teach it how to make these. And let's do mechanism advanced. We might as well just teach all of the cables to the system and the pressurized tubes and logistical transporters. And then at mechanism basic, I taught all the others. Yes. Okay. Uh, and here is where we're going to need to go upgrade to the gold crafters because we are out of storage for those so that's okay for now we don't need anything at the moment let's get this project done before i work on another project that's my missing three steel do you not know how to make steel i thought i taught you steel you know how to make steel dust you don't know how to process the steel dust so let's teach it that steel uh, steel ingots comes from the, do, 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 do. where is the energized smelter? And then find that guy, advanced smelting factory, done. Now, we can make, I forgot what we were making. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, let's make our cables. Let's let that run. Oh, that was actually pretty quick. Ah, because it held up on the steel. But that's okay. And let's put these on the roof here. So we're going to need the cables, and then the pipes are going to go on top of the cables. So we're going to have um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So these are now generating 250 RF a tick, and they are filling up the pipes, which is why we're not seeing, you know, these guys doing anything ridiculously crazy. Uh, and now, now they're backstuffing. Pipes are backstuffed, so those are backstuffing. So with each one of these doing 250, that is, that's a lot of RF from passive power. I just got to make sure it's not raining and not cloudy. I say that's a win. What if we just did one of our roofs? So that would mean I would need one, two, three, four. I would need 20 more. Can I do 20 more solar panels? 
missing redstone. I cannot believe I did not get any redstone while I was down there mining. Well, I say this is enough for now. Let's lay out the foundations. In between episodes, I'll go ahead and go mining again. Try and get us a little bit better with our resources. Um, that way we don't have to worry so much about all this stuff. And then what we will do is I can make one of those ender gates. No, I said we were going to use the blazing. So we factor this is 250 each and we're doing what 25 um quick math in the head not good at that uh 25 12 and a half it's a lot <laughs> i can't do it in my head right now uh it's a lot of power that this is going to generate for us so we'll use the blazing one and get it going it's going to bother me how much power that is that i did not um it's 250 times 25. It's 6,200 RF a tick. 6,250 RF a tick. So actually, let's see. Ender gate. So we would need we would need the blazing tier to be able to use all that. So we actually have one, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and pop this guy. Not there because the torch is there. Which actually, we don't need the torch. And to make it symmetrical, it drives me nuts. So let's put it there. This is set to... Receive and extract. No, we just want all to be receive. Yes. So you're going to receive the power and you're going to send it down to our system there. So that is that. So we're going to need to make more of those. Let's go ahead and work on our crafters and get those upgraded real quick. That is you guys. Bam. And that replaces you two. This is going to be a giant mess, but let's put this here. You here, you here, and you here. Nope. It doesn't really matter too much, but uh, for aesthetics purposes, we are going to keep them all the same. Everything that can go in here. And this is a lag spike. Wow, it's because I'm rendering the, uh, uh, holding shift shows what the pattern does and it is lagging because it has to render it right as I pick it up. There we go, and I'm not picking any more up, so we should be good to go. That was all of them, yes. And now we have that going and we should have plenty of storage space here for our crafting cards now. So if we go over here and we look at it, look, we have all this room. Sweet, so we got solar panels. I needed more redstone so we can deal with that problem, but uh, we are pretty good on our power, it looks like for now. We're gonna end up needing to end upgrade this because this can only handle two and a half thousand RF a tick. So we're gonna wanna upgrade our ender cell to the next tier. You know, initially when we started this, I said I didn't really wanna dive into power too much, but since we have no choice but to use it for the wireless power transfer, I'm not complaining. It's actually not too bad. The biggest issue is going to be trying to figure out how to automate this guy, uh, the energizing orb, because I, I don't know. Because it can accept multiple items, like I could put, I can put as much as I want in there. I don't know how to exactly to automate that. I'm going to have to look it up because I'm pretty sure the Enigmatica 6 wiki has a guide on how to automate this. Um, so we're going to have to look into that and maybe in a couple episodes we'll work on it. But for now, it's not that big of a deal. But what we need for, so let's say, um, power hardened. That's our next tier, correct? So we're going to need a energy cell hardened. And we'll make ender gates that are hardened. So what do we need for these? If we wanted to start working on getting into these, it's going to take ender cores and energy cables hardened. So let's go ahead and add those to the to-do list as well. Um, but it's going to require this energized steel. And the energized steel is copper and gold. One to one gives you two energized steel. So let's grab copper. Can we grab a stack of that? We can. And gold. And we can grab a stack of that. And th oops. 
theoretically, should be able to put all of this in there. Nope. I lied. Hmm. Give me all that back. I'm trying to think how we can automate this, because if I put a hopper on top, it's going to put just copper and just gold and not all the gold. So you kind of have to have something that can, you know, switch between. Do the thing. Julie, do the thing. Can you only do one at a time? It kind of seems to be that way, doesn't it? What if I did one, two, one, two. Okay, you can only do one at a time. That is kind of unfortunate. That means we're gonna be sitting here for a while doing this. I mean, it's a pretty quick process. Um, we could probably do some kind of redstone -y signal to stop this from uh, one here, one here, wait till it's done and extract, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up, like I said. That's a project for another day. We have some of this energized steel now, which is what we needed. It was just an experiment. We we're just talking about stuff, seeing what we need to do things. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so we got a hardened battery from that, which holds four million. Oh, and that's a curio. Oh. Wait, does that do what I think it does? Um, where is the book? Give me the book. Give me the power book. I don't remember what it looks like. There we go. Batteries. Like, what does that do? Charge items when it's in a player inventory. It can also be used to upgrade the capacity of an Ender Network channel by shift-clicking a battery to an Ender Cell GUI. If the battery contains energy, it would also be applied to the Ender Network channel. Okay. So here's the thing. To be honest, do we even need this? Ignoring the fact that we have this, this is no longer even needed because we have um, this, our player transmitter. And our player transmitter will charge us. Oh, we have an Enderman. Let's grab that. There is an Enderman outside of this wall here. I forgot I can fly now, so it's not that big a deal with all the enemies. Mr. Enderman. Oh, I hate when that happens. I see him on the map, and then I saw him, but he just disappeared completely. I don't know why that happens sometimes. Um, any other Endermans? Yep. Maybe he moved over here, and that's why we don't see him anymore. I really do need to work on another way of flight, too. Um, I think in the next couple episodes, we're going to work on getting into, say, Batania. That way we can um, get a, like, journeyman sash. Give me that. Thank you. We can get a journeyman sash so we get a little bit faster run speed and i think that does help with uh mechanisms well this walking or this flying speed we got our dimensional card yay bind that to us it's already bound and now we can have power gen even in the nether so we don't have to worry about that and it was a quest so let's collect our loot box oh and actually the solar panel was a quest as well but I needed to get the Ferninator first. Ooh, what did that give me? Uraninite. I already had Uraninite, so I'm not... I can't say I'm necessarily too thrilled that that just gave me that, because I already had some, but, like, any slot? Yeah, this can go anywhere. So let's put it, like... Sure. That's a ring slot. We'll put the battery on our ring. It's on our finger. And there we go. So we got that going. Okay. Battery was cool. We got the energy cell, uh, or we got solar panels. We want to go ahead and make some more of those. Um, we have two Endermen sitting out here. As y'all know, Endermen are my vice right now. I can't get enough Ender Pearls. I need to go find the, uh, what is that in the nether, the biome? I don't remember the uh, thingamadude biome that spawns a lot of Endermen. And maybe we can see about making a uh, like 
spawner killer. I also need to worry on getting a new sword. I got a lot of things to do. I need to like write all this stuff down. That way I make sure I don't forget. I need looting on my sword. That other Enderman seems to have disappeared. He does not care that I was looking at his face. I did not get an Ender Pearl. My luck with those Ender Pearls has been absolutely horrendous. But there we go. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. I think we're good to go here. We got our wireless power fixed over in our uh, wind generating area. We got our solar panels set up. We got wireless power charging, so we don't even have to plug our stuff into this guy anymore. So to be honest, the only thing that Tinker's Workbench is good for at the moment is augments and everything. We got, uh, I think I said our solar panels set up, so that's a pretty good episode. Next time we're going to come back uh, and work on clearing out a couple of these extra things. I'm going to go mining and get some redstone so that we can do this um, and get the rest of those solar panels up there so we have a buku power for a while and that should finally solve our power gen issues. We'll get our matter transmitter and receiver set up. No, we won't. It requires ender pearls. I had it on my to-do list because I want to work on it, but it requires ender pearls. Um, and I don't know necessarily this hardened energy cell is probably what we need to get next because it does do 8k RF and we're going to be producing six up top. So we need to make sure that we can input all of that because the one that we have now can only do 1k. So we're kind of buffered on that. But anyway, next episode. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help. And any suggestions on that, please, please. Let me know. Uh, we're trying to, you know, do cool things, have a good community and everything like that. So if you have any suggestions, comments or anything about the channel, what we're doing or anything about me, if I say um too many times, which I know I do, uh, please let me know so I can work on that stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.